Paul McKenzie, the pastor of Good News International Church Farm in Malindi, Kenya is known by the authorities with his court activities and was forced to close down his church. But this didn't stop him from continuing with his cult activities he paraded as a church in a farm of 800 acres far away from people, this is to make it possible to brainwash his members. This man claimed to have seen Jesus, and all his prophecies came directly from him, the Bible in the book of 1 John 4 verse 1 says Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to determine if they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This pastor is indeed one of the false prophet. The pastor convinced his church members that fasting and starving themselves to death is a way to attain spiritual purity and enlightenment, and that this will prepare them to meet Jesus. He used biblical passages texts to support his claims that denying oneself food and water is a way to connect with God, but the book of John 14 verse 8 said, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, and the truth, and the life, no one cometh unto the Father, but by me. The pastor further manipulated his followers by suggesting that those who fail to participate in the fast will not be considered true believers of Jesus, and will not see him. He told them that the fasting is for them to escape the apocalypse coming upon the earth. Unfortunately, these kinds of manipulative and dangerous practices are not unheard of in religious communities in Africa. It is important to remember that pastors are called to lead the Church of Christ, and to feed them with his knowledge until they are formed of him, unfortunately, this is not the case today. It is never acceptable for a religious leader or anyone to intentionally deceive and harm people. In this case, the pastor's actions have resulted in the loss of numerous lives, which is a terrible tragedy. It is essential to investigate this matter and hold the pastor accountable for their actions. Additionally, it is crucial to provide support and assistance to the families and loved ones affected by this tragedy. Being in a church without the knowledge of the Word of God is very dangerous for anyone claiming to be a believer, you will become a target of exploitation. Many are perishing today because of ignorance, Hosea 4 verse 5 says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. This pastor exploited vulnerable ignorant people who are listening to a man without knowledge of Christ. Their ignorance and lack of discernment has led them into untimely death. The fear of hell in them was because they believed a work-based message that starving to make heaven is the only way to see Jesus, and not because of what he did for us on the cross. It said that children were forced to fast, and many that refused to fast were slaughtered and buried alive by the pastor. This is no longer a pastor but a mentally disturbed man that needs urgent medical attention. It is unfortunate that many bodies are still being recovered in the Good News International Church Farm Shakahola. What you need to make heaven is not starving to death, but to reject sin, and to accept that Jesus died for your sin to save you from hell, and eternal destruction, surrender your life to Jesus as their Savior, this is where eternal life comes into you. Eternal life is not something you starve to receive, it is a gift imputed freely into you through the blood of Jesus the moment you allow him into your heart. These verses of the Bible is a proof that you don't work for it. Jesus in the book of John 10 verse 28 said, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. John 17 verse 2 For you granted him authority over all people, so that he may give eternal life to all those you have given him. John 10 verse 10 The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. This man has been released on bail by the authorities in Kenya, and the death keep rising daily, it's sad, and unfortunate, that these people ended their lives, not because of their faith in Jesus, by their faith in mentally sick man presenting himself as a pastor. I encourage you to sit down, and study the world of God, know God by yourself, so you're not deceived by hirelings who are out there to exploit the vulnerable. Brethren, going to church service every day is not going to Jesus, do you know Jesus? Have you accepted him as your Lord and Savior? If you have not allowed him into your heart, I implore you to accept him today. Eternal life and heaven is all free the moment you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The Bible said, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved.
Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.